We're in beautiful Lunenburg, Nova Scotia, where uh, our, our ship is on the dock currently. And I'm here for the first time, I haven't been dreaming about this boat for months, I'm here for the first time to begin the process of making her perfectly ready. When we started looking around for a vessel for Canada C3, um, one of the key criteria was that it was a Canadian vessel with a Canadian flag and a vessel capable of going up across the Northwest Passage, so an, an ice class or ice breaker type vessel. Thanks for, uh, for having us here. It's great to be back in Lunenburg. Um, and uh, we brought a collection of our, of our team from Canada C3. And I have tons of questions about how to set up labs and different things. Well, I'm Jim. I'm the ice navigator and the chief mate on board. The C3 vessel is a Canadian uh, icebreaker. It's a former Canadian Coast Guard icebreaker. She's 220 feet long. Uh, and she's going to be an amazing platform for this journey all around Canada. She's uh, built for ice, she's very versatile, she's strong. What really gives the shell plating strength is the structure inside. And where other ships are often have frames every 24 inches, are at ours are at 15 to 16 inches. So, I mean, she's a rigid vessel. Did you say it's really spookle? I might have said that. <laughs> so she's really rugged and when you see her in a uh, dry dock or photos from a dry dock, you look down the hull and she's just smooth and uh, things like this of course, uh, they bring a smile to my face. Say again what you call it properly? It's really a race against time right now. It's lots of little things uh, from, from painting to getting systems set up, getting zodiacs on board, setting up laboratories. So we're thinking about everything from accommodations and do we have the right bunks and do we have the right layout and do we have the right lab set up for the scientists that will be on board and do we have the right media labs for our communication specialists. It's really like kind of building a little village of 150 people and figuring out how you take them into a, not just one remote community but a mobile remote community and provide for all of their needs for 150 days on end. We're not only getting to know the ship and its ins and outs, but we're also getting to know the, the ship team, the, the crew of the ship. And our goal, as always on a ship, is to create a real team atmosphere. We're one big family, we're in it together. The idea of being part of an expedition with so many different Canadians uh, coming from different areas with different views, but all one project together, it's, uh, it's gonna be something. Looking forward to, to getting the ship to where she needs to be on June 1st in Toronto to begin our 150-day, 23,000-kilometer journey from coast to coast to coast to celebrate Canada 150.